Hello students, how are you? I hope all of you are fit and fine. Today we are going to discuss about the lesson solid, liquids and gases. This is chapter number 5 from your textbook and we will be discussing MCQs and question and answers from this particular chapter. So let us start. So starting with tick the correct answers that is MCQs. The first question in that is which of the following is a physical change? And the options are melting of butter, rusting of iron, burning of paper and D option is changing of wheat to bread. So physical change means what? Physical change means it is just merely a change in state of matter and basically it is a reversible change. That is, you can reverse the change. For example, solid can be converted to liquid and liquid can be converted back to solid. So that is a physical change because it is not changing the chemical composition of that particular matter. Okay. So in this particular case, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is melting of butter. Okay. So A option that is melting of butter is a correct answer. Let us see next one. The next question is milk turning sour is a, the options are physical change, reversible change, chemical change, none of this. So what is the correct answer for this? Well, milk turning sour is a chemical change. So the correct answer is C, that is chemical change. Let us see next question. The third one, dash and salt are soluble in water. The options are sugar, chalk, sand, kerosene. Here, the question is quite easy. You will easily guess the correct answer. Okay, chalk, sand and kerosene never get dissolved in water. So, what remains is sugar. So, sugar is the correct answer. Let us see fourth question. Fourth question is, in ice, the water molecules are or can dash. The options are stuck together, very close to each other, move around freely, move very fast. So in case of ice, the molecules are stuck together because it is a solid and being a solid, the molecules will be very close to each other. Do you agree with me? Okay. Well, let us see next question. The gas that bubbles out of an aerated drink is, the options are nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide. So what is the correct answer? The gas that bubbles out of aerated drink is carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is the correct answer for this. Let us see next. This is a match the following. So in column A you will be finding matter is there, then uh, molecule, gas, soluble in water solid liquid and in column b there is has a definite shape and volume has no definite shape but a definite volume then c option is sugar d is attraction between molecule is the least anything that takes up space and its weight and f is smallest unit of substance then in column b there are following options a has a definite shape and volume b has no definite shape but a definite volume then c is sugar then D is attraction between molecule is the least. Then E is anything that takes up space and has weight. And in F, smallest unit of a substance. Now here students remember that matter, okay, is anything that takes up space and weight. So E will be going with 1. That is matter goes with this. Anything that takes up space and has weight. Okay, so this matches with 1. Then second molecule, this is the smallest unit, right? So smallest unit of substance. So 2 matches with F, that is smallest unit of substance. Then gas, uh, in gas it has the attraction between molecule is a list. So gas matches with D. Then soluble in water, sugar is soluble in water. So 4 matches with C. Then solid, it has definite shape and volume. So it matches with A and Liquid has no definite shape but definite volume. So, 6 matches with B. Okay. So, let us see the answers. So, matter, 
आंसर इज एनीथिंग दैट टेक्स अप स्पेस एंड हैज वेट मॉलिक्यूल स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ सब्सटेंस गैस अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन मॉलिक्यूल इज लिस्ट सोल्यूबल इन वॉटर शुगर सॉलिड हैज डेफिनेट शेप एंड वॉल्यूम लिक्विड हैज नो डेफिनेट शेप बट डेफिनेट वॉल्यूम ओके सो वी वेर करेक्ट अवर गैसेज वेर करेक्ट and it is but obvious so these are the uh, basic definitions or this is how we identify this particular terms okay well let us move on to short answers so first in that is what is matter the answer is matter is anything that occupies space and has weight so what is matter matter is anything that occupies space and has weight okay let us see second question what are molecules well molecule is a smallest unit of substance that has all the properties of that substance i repeat what is molecule molecule is a smallest unit of substance that has all the properties of that substance third question what are molecules made up of well molecules are made up of atoms very easy to answer fourth question name any two solids two liquids and two gases that can dissolve in water well among solids the example can be sugar salt among liquids the example can be glycerin alcohol and among gases the example can be oxygen ammonia so these are the examples of different states of matter that can dissolve in water let us see long answers now okay so why do solids have a fixed shape now here you can mention in solids molecules are very close to each other they attract each other with a great force of attraction okay and so solid is hard rigid and has definite shape and volume so this is how you can mention the points while answering the question why do solids have a fixed shape let us see second question why do liquids flow here you can mention in liquids the molecules are less closely packed the attraction between molecule in liquid is less compared to solids molecules can move around freely okay so in liquid molecules are less closely packed the attraction is also less compared to solid and so they are little free they have little freedom compared to solids and that is why liquids can flow third question write two differences between liquids and gas here you can mention these points liquids have a fixed volume gases have no fixed value then molecules in liquid move slower than molecules in gases whereas molecule in gases move faster than those in liquids okay so these two points you can mention in liquids and gases let us see fourth question when do we say that liquids are miscible okay liquids are miscible miscible means what they get dissolved okay so when liquid dissolve in water they are called miscible for example alcohol alcohol is miscible in water why because it gets dissolved in water okay let us see fifth question what is physical change give two examples here you can mention a physical change is a temporary change which can be reversed in this change there is only change in state of matter the change is temporary and can be easily reversed while answering this question you can write down a physical change is a temporary change which can be reversed in this change there is only change in state of matter the change is temporary and can be easily reversed okay and what examples you can mention you can mention ice melting to water and water vapor condensing into liquid water okay so these two examples you can mention well let us move on to the next question what is chemical change so earlier we tried to answer what is physical change now we are going to answer what is chemical change here. and also we are going to give two examples also so here you can mention in chemical change heating or cooling results in permanent change so there it is temporary here it is permanent change so that is a major difference then new substance is formed and we cannot get back to the old substance so once the change happens it happens okay you cannot reverse it okay examples you can mention a piece of paper burnt into ashes it is you cannot convert ash back to paper right so this is a chemical change similarly milk turning into curd okay once milk has turned into curd you cannot turn it back into milk okay so this is also a chemical change so these two examples are enough to give examples of chemical change so students having answered this question we have finally arrived 
on to our last question for the day. The question is give three characteristic features of a chemical change. Very easy to answer. Simply you have to write chemical changes are permanent, cannot be reversed, results in the formation of new substance. Only this thing, these three things you have to mention. Okay, so very easy to answer. Well, students, it was all from my side. Thanks for attending this session. I hope it will be helpful to you during exams. Well, so see you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.